and thank you all so much for contributing. Um, I think my question is for Carthy. Um, and by the way, when I saw the graph, I hadn't seen the demo, but I knew exactly where it was because I called my stepbrother of Bell as we were launching mid-split architecture and saying, oh boy, we've got a problem. Anyhow, with Karthik, you mentioned, mentioned, you know, had we had this level of intelligence seven, eight years ago, right? Like, it would have been so awesome, it would have been so cool. And now that it's here, when you project out seven to eight years, what do you see, what do you hope, what do you feel? That's a good one. Um, the number of ODM and ODMA channels that we are adding to the cable plan in terms of spectrum has just exploded, right? Coming from the two new ODM channels that we have today, going up to five, six, seven, maybe more, uh, from the CMTS point of view, and then same with the upstream, right? We have multiple upstream channels. So, and then of course the FDX with all its dynamism, right? It's, uh, and, and then we, we talked about the, the long-term future, right, three and six gigahertz. The amount of spectrum that is there, it's, it's gonna be impossible to, you know, even semi-manually do this, right? You have to do this uh, large-scale data collection. You have to do intelligent scheduling, intelligent, profile creation, um, I think it's going to be part and parcel of the technology as we take it forward um, to have some of these software-defined, data-centric operations to, to, to the cable, cable industry. So. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's do